silly. The number, number one <laughs> ball in golf. Tomorrow's the day we have a day off. I'm taking Mulligan to Willing City Country Club. Yeah. Tomorrow's the day we're going to play golf for the first time in his life. His doctor said after his heart attack that he should take other sports up besides jogging, which is, he got a heart attack few, few right down yards, the street. Right down the street. Yeah. Three years ago, he survived, as you can see, his hair used to be straight, but <laughs> they had to give him a little... <laughs> So the doctor says to him, his cardiologist, Dr. Goldstein, says from now on, he says, sports where you hit the ball and you walk. Yeah, I Golf is the sport you need, he says. So tomorrow's the day. Mulligan has never, you never played in your whole life. No. Can you imagine he's a guy never played golf? He's a 43-year-old man. Never played golf in his entire life. I only played twice myself. You play with yourself or with somebody else? I wish you wouldn't put it that way. All right, did you play with somebody else or play with yourself? That's better. Okay. I was with somebody else. Teach me the strokes. You know, I had to learn how to strokes. There's someone you can score. I mean, you have to learn how to stroke. But I'll show you everything you need to know tomorrow, Mulligan. Make sure you bring a golf hat for the sun, okay? Yeah. And golf shoes for the turf. Okay. We're all set. Yeah. Bring balls. We need balls to play golf. Is this a dangerous game? <laughs> I don't mean balls like that. I mean balls that you play with, you know? Oh, yeah, I'll bring those. <laughs> the little round things you hold in your hand, you know? I know what they look like after all these years. Jeez. Mulligan, when you play golf, your ball is on the grass most of the time. <laughs> We're going to lie down during this whole game? You play golf standing up. My ball won't be on the grass. You bend over, you place your ball on the grass, stand back up, that's all there is to it. Mine, come back up with me. Hey, Ma, cut the stick, why you? You don't see to understand, that's how you play golf ball again. You see, I saw Richard Vino do it on television last week. He bent over, placed his ball on the grass, stood back up, and his ball stand right there. He must have stretched it a long way. You don't seem to follow me at all. You got a club? What's a club? A club! That's what you hold in your head! Oh, yeah, I got a club, yeah. And then you swing it over your shoulders. No, no, I don't have a club like that. You'll have to ask one of the bigger guys. <laughs> Shoot. Well, that's how you play. I'm just trying to explain the game to you, Mom. Oh, no, no, no. You place your ball in the grass, you take your club in your hands, give a few practice strokes. I could do that, too, I and Then you swing it over your shoulders with all your strength, swing your club as hard as you can, and... Smack your ball and you send it soaring down the fairway. That's how you play. Oh, boy. If I did all that to my ball, it would be soaring all, all the way down, down the fairway. <laughs> oh, my God. It won't weird. hurt. It won't hurt. It won't hurt you. It'll hurt me. It's my ball. <laughs> Got to be careful not to get your ball in the trap, too, while you're at it. Right. Yeah, but if you do, you can go to the clinic and get a shot of penicillin and take care of that. <laughs> penicillin? Yeah. And a golf clinic? What are you talking about? Not a golf clinic. You're going to be careful. See, I'm talking about the traps around the green. That's what I'm talking about. The traps are out in the green. What's the green? The green. We're going to play golf. He wants to know what the green is. I'm in trouble. The green. That's where the hole is. <laughs> Somebody tell him it's not green. <laughs> <laughs> Mulligan, it's green. I'm telling you it's green. Huh? No, it's not green. I don't Mulligan. think there's a... No, there's not a green one. No. Round, fuzzy green with a hole in the middle. <laughs> I, know, I know what it looks like, but really, even in Ireland, there wouldn't be a green one. <laughs> No, no, no. You got it mixed up, I think. Wow, I'm really confused now. Yeah? I'm not making any sense to you, am I? Yeah. See, well, the, yeah, Mulligan, but... the whole point of golf, the whole purpose here is, you see, you're trying to get your ball in that hole. That's the whole point here. <laughs> Somebody tell them. That's what you're trying to do, is you get your ball in that hole. No wonder you get only two kids. <laughs> Stuck the ball. Stuck the ball because in the hole it's a club. I read the book. I read the. There's a the book. Club. Dr. Ruth told me. She's a golfer too, I guess. So she has a few clubs. <laughs> so few. Mulligan, as long as you understand, the club doesn't go in the hole. The club does not go in the green. It's impolite golf. If there's a golfer in the room, that the, the club does not. It's impolite. You bring on the on the green. You have to use a putter. The hell's a putter? What the hell's a putter? It's like a. Well, it's like a club except it's really small, short, and tiny. Oh, dear. What's the matter now? Well, I got a putter. <laughs> all right. I'll see you there tomorrow. We'll listen. Yeah, all right. Do you want to do that? Uh, well. Would you prefer to go to Butler Park, meet me for a small casual game of tennis? Maybe that would be easier. All right, if you want, yeah. Never mind, never mind. Why? Well, you need balls to play tennis, too, Mom. It's these dangerous games. Matter of fact, you need three, ball three balls to play tennis, Mom. Three balls? Three balls. Where the hell am I going to get another one? I play with Wilsons. He don't mind? 
He doesn't mind. He makes a profit whenever I play with his ball. Oh, he works up in Bedford Street, Fall River? No! Huh? No, Molly. See, no, see, his balls, you can buy them in a the store. They come in a can. Sounds it, doesn't it? <laughs> see, tennis is a gentleman's game. You that understand? sounds it, too. <laughs> Two gentlemen. See, in tennis, you take your ball and you toss it in the end, you serve it to another guy. Bullshit. I didn't think you'd go for that. Bill <laughs> Mulligan, ladies and gentlemen. Mike Kudo. We'll be right back. Stay Thank with you. Me. <laughs>